Hey, what's up GT gang? So welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be working on Maisie. We have an aluminum radiator, Mishimoto radiator. Um, the previous owner actually bought this. It was not used, but I bought it new, but um, not directly from Mishimoto. He actually opted for the version that didn't come with the letter in the front. So um, I guess that's not a big deal, but today we're going to be swapping this in. And it's actually super easy, as you can see how thin this radiator is to how thick this is. So it's quite a bit upgrade. So today we're gonna be removing some clips and just removing four 12 millimeter bolts, draining the coolant. And then that'll get us to where we need to be to swap in the new radiator. Alright guys, so now that the car is jacked up, what I'm actually going to do is, there's actually a pet cock down here, and if you haven't watched my old video of flushing the coolant system, I would actually check it out, but right here is a pet cock, it's um, basically a valve that you can turn, it's a little, uh, like a fly nut basically, you loosen this and radiator fluid uh, or coolant will actually come out of this hole, as you can see it's kind of about to drip, so what I have to do, crack that, and let it all come out. I'll obviously have a like a bucket under there to catch all my coolant because I will reuse it because it only has a thousand miles on the coolant. So I'm going to clean this up really quick, make sure I don't have any uh, particulates or any dirt, anything, or there's a little bit of stuff in here. So I'm gonna clean this off and then I will put it underneath the car. guys um what i did is i cracked this open i'm not gonna take off the cap just because um <clears throat> i don't want anything falling in but i just cracked it so it's loose it uh it forces gravity to push it down faster uh, it might take a while so um just let it sit until it's done and then once it's done yeah that coolant looks good no mixture of oil or anything so uh, I'll get you guys back when it's uh, all the way drained. Uh, now that it finished um, draining, I closed the pet cock. So now we're gonna go over to the lower radiator hose. So no matter how long you let this drain, there's still gonna be radiator fluid or coolant. And um, at the bottom right here where this little radiator hose comes out, and we have to remove it anyway. So it's good to just have your, your bucket right here, the drain pan, and we're gonna crack this loose with a flathead or an eight millimeter and we're gonna push it off and let it all drain here it might be a little messy so just be prepared all right since i've done this before uh i'll just throw you guys on here and so you can see what's going on all right so as you can see paper towel stuffed in there let's go up top okay so we're moving the whole radiator and fan assembly as one so any plugs you see there's two here and then there's one right here those are connected to the fans. And then there's um, there's some plugs down low. I'll go tell you if you have to remove those, but we're gonna get started by just removing these. Pretty simple, just taking plugs out. And then next we are going to remove this radiator hose. And what I would recommend is there might be some straggle or just access uh, coolant laying around anywhere because this is kind of a flat surface and it kind of dips down right here. So it's possible there's some fluid right here. So what you want to do is when you loosen this up, take it off and kind of bend it over. Maybe maybe even throw a zip tie down so that it stays up. So when you put in the new radiator, you can just slide it back on really quick and then you'll have no leakage of coolant. Alright guys, so as you can see I just removed that and what I did, I actually just used my spark plug wires to 
to um i'll get out of the way use my spark plug wires to kink this right here and hold it right here because there is coolant i i heard coolant chill in there so now that we have that ready we're going to check underneath make sure that the plugs underneath don't need to be removed and if they do we'll unplug them. all right guys so i just checked underneath and it looks like those plugs actually don't need to come out so now we're ready to move the brackets themselves we have two 12s here two 12s here and then we'll actually be able to pull the entire radiator out All right guys, so as you can see, both brackets removed. I can lift this entire thing right out. So I'm gonna do that really quick and um, we'll be ready to throw in the new radiator. Or actually, we need to swap over the fans first. All right, radiator's out guys. And I do have some leaves and stuff right here that I wanna clean up. This is the AC condenser. So, um, yeah, now you have a lot of room here, this would be something to do. I mean, it's super easy to take out the radiator if you had to, to uh, work on maybe the downpipe or work on the AC compressor. Um, even, you know, to do transmission work maybe. So it's, it's pretty cool. And as you can see down there, 6272, that's pretty badass. So now we're going to swap over the fans. Should be a direct bolt up, but if it's not, I'll let you guys know. So it looks like we got 10, mil 10 millimeter bolts all the way around. These bottom ones are a little rusty, but uh, it should be fine. So I made a little oopsie guys. So apparently I, uh, well, I've been having issues where my fans have been constantly running and it's definitely a coolant temp sensor. I replaced one on the actual thermostat housing. So I figured instead of running into issues with these old ones that I should just go ahead and get two new ones. Um, I didn't think of that prior or ahead of time. So instead of just throwing those on the new one, I figured I would just order them in advanced auto said that they wouldn't even be here until tomorrow. So, um, what will go by in a couple seconds will take another day for me. No big deal. So uh, I'm just gonna wrap this up for today. And then um, in a couple seconds, you'll see me start off right where I left right, off. So I have the radiator completely put back together. Two brand new sensors are put on and we're gonna see uh, if we can fit this back. It's actually dropped in and um, I just found these brackets in the box and they said 3SX. So that makes a lot of sense why this isn't actually branded. It's a 3SX uh, radiator, which makes a lot of sense why it's not branded on with the Mishimoto logo on the front. So what I'm gonna do now, or what I have done, I put these brackets on, actually painted them black and put the rubber inserts in, mount it up. I'm actually missing two um, bolts for the radiator. No big deal. I'm just gonna have to run over and grab those. It's gonna hold the fans on, but, um, yeah, I'm going to throw on the hoses and top her off with some cool it's tightening the bottom hose clamp and it absolutely shatters. Uh, I guess it's a good thing you know, that it broke now rather than later. So I'm going to have to go grab a new one. I'm not sure if I'll be able to uh, install this tonight. I got a lot of crap to do, but yeah, that's a bummer. I was hoping to start the bad boy up and runner today. So I'll get you guys back when I get to I've actually had some hose clamps laying around the house. <clears throat> That's why it's good to always just have random stuff. I didn't think I'd ever use just a bunch of random hose clamps. But I took um, took hose, a hose clamp apart and used this piece on the old one because none of them that I had were actually big enough. So I just put that piece on here and there she is. So I'm gonna throw on it. Hey guys, and once you top off your coolant, you are good. And the install is finally complete. I've actually been running this radiator for about two weeks now. Don't know why it took me so long to upload a video and it's been way too long. I missed you guys so much. Uh, the freaking GT gang, I'm sure you guys missed me. So I will be back. I have a bunch of videos to upload um, that still need edited, but bear with me guys. Don't know why I took the break. I've actually um, got laid off my job. So it's like a lot of mental stuff going on up here, but I'm gonna figure it out guys and we're gonna get through this together. So. Stay tuned for the next video. I did a freaking dash swap on Maisie and I got new wheels. So stay tuned. And I really appreciate you guys, you know, staying subscribed and checking up on me. I have subscribers constantly hitting me up and I just, from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate you guys. So without getting all sappy, I really appreciate you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.